Thanks. Uh, so uh, this is joint work with Martin Fain. Um, and I'm going to, uh, this is, of course, work inspired by Martin Gardner, in particular, uh, Penny Puzzles article in Mathematical Carnival. Uh, each of these puzzles, you go from the left configuration to the right configuration by a sequence of moves. Each move, you pick up a coin, and you move it to a position adjacent to at least two other coins. The motivation for that for these puzzles is probably so that it stays on the triangular grid. But you don't have to think just in the triangular grid. Um, and in fact, uh, my dad and I and a, and a colleague, Helena Verrill, wrote a paper about the math and algorithms of these puzzles way back in 2000. Uh, when I was still a teenager. Uh, and we came up with polynomial time algorithms to solve at least most of these puzzles on the triangular grid and the square grid. And we could use that to uh, design new puzzles, like the one on the bottom, which looks very simple. You just flip a diagonal from one to the other. Again, every move has to move a coin to adjacent to at least two others. Uh, but it's quite challenging. In this case, it takes 18 moves. Although for a computer, it's easy. For a human, it's pretty hard. Um, and so this was our first uh, G4G contribution back in 2002. Um, and it appeared in this book, Tribute to a Mathematician, which we edited with uh, Barry and Tom Rogers, the founder of G4G. Um, and a fun little Easter egg, if you haven't read this book, cover every single word in the footnote at the bottom there. It says, uh, the domains are a father and son team. Eric D. Domain, the father, is an assistant professor Anyway, um, so that uh, paper had a bunch of puzzles, uh, including some Gardner puzzles. That's what the text says on the left. And the bottom puzzle is the, is the provably hardest puzzle. It requires n cubed moves for n coins. Anyway, this is a sort of return to, to old ideas. Um, but we wanted to take our, a new view. Where For us, we, uh, my dad and I have been into these puzzle fonts for a long time, and you've seen, if you've been to past G4Gs, our talks about different ones. I want to show you briefly uh, the next to latest font uh, in this family, which is if you take a string and you wrap it around in the, in a, on a, these circular pegs, you can spell any letter uh, after 1,500 such wraps. Uh -huh. But uh, so but a natural thing is to take this idea of, of mathematical and puzzle fonts and apply it to Coin sliding. This is, uh, let's reconsider this old, the old coin sliding idea. So here is a coin sliding font. Each letter is made up of the same number of coins. And we can prove uh, that every coin can be reconfigured, every letter can be reconfigured to any other letter uh, by some finite number of moves. We have no idea how many. We have not solved most of these puzzles, but we know that they are solvable. Um, so this is 1,332 puzzles for you to solve. Uh, and so you can write your favorite message, uh, gathering for Gardner, for example. And in principle, you know, so you can actually play this uh, and start trying to solve, go from one letter to another. But we thought that just isn't enough puzzles. So we made a second font, which is at quite a bit harder, the one on the bottom. So now there are 2,664 puzzles for you to solve. Um, and uh, in fact, there's an app for that. So you can play these puzzles directly um, and start trying you know, to move uh, from A to B. Uh, I'm just going to do some random moves. You can actually do reverse moves, which you have to think about what those mean. But uh, there's the opposite thing. And if you ever get these to match, you will get a high score, or actually a low score, on this list, uh, notice <laughs> these are the best known upper bounds for all of these puzzles. You may not be able to read that, but almost every entry here is infinity. It is right now prime real estate, very easy for you to set a record. You just have to get a finite number. Um, and so that's the five by seven. The five by nine has even fewer entries. Uh, this is, right now, is the release of this app. You can play it on Android or on any web browser. Uh, just go to coinsliding.ericdomain.org, and please help us find the best way to solve all these puzzles. We have no idea. The, la the largest solution that we've found so far is of like 50, but it may not be optimal. Who knows? Uh, hopefully, you have fun with them. I figure it's only about eight puzzles per person here. So together, <laughs> together we can all, all do it. One warning is that to 
uh, this is a new result from a couple weeks ago. Uh, we're pretty sure, I uh, haven't written it up yet, it's just a blackboard, but uh, we're pretty sure that it's NP-hard, it's computationally intractable to find the shortest solution to a puzzle. So uh, you, if you solve these puzzles, you might end up being NP-hard yourself. Be careful, uh, but slide lots of coins. Thank you. <laughs>